Welcome to this episode of Behind the Lens. The theme of this show is inspiration or lack thereof. I contacted three photographers who've been working in the field for decades. I wanted to hear their thoughts on what they do to find the muse when it isn't there. How do you find inspiration hmm. when it really isn't there? Right. And uh... Inspiration, well, I have a pretty restless mind. Mm -hmm. And so I sort of envision uh, what is the next thing for me to work on. Mm -hmm. um, and absolutely, there's some uh, dead times. What do we do when the creativity just seems to defy us? Yeah, yeah. I think um, I, for me, I look at lots of media. I look at publications. Ah. I try to stir up my imagination mm -hmm. and my ideas. And sometimes it's just by accident. Ah, accidents. Yeah. She was out all day, and yeah. she was working for the WPA, yeah. and, um, and she didn't get anything that day. And she, it was the end of the day, and she was driving back to her house in, I yeah. think, San Francisco. And she passed this little sign that said, need migrant workers, you know, yeah. pay you like 50 cents a week or oh, something geez. like that. And she had some feeling inside of her, and mm -hmm. she, as she drove a couple more miles, and then she turned the car around. Mm -hmm. And then she went to this, basically, almost like a refugee camp. Mm -hmm and found this mother with her children. Mm -hmm. And she did that shot, and the rest is history. So she had that little voice right. in the back of her head that said, you know, you might want to check this out. Yeah. We all have gone through just dry spells. No matter how dedicated or disciplined we are, mm -hmm. there's just Periods in our life, like the pandemic, mm -hmm. the beginning of the pandemic, for instance. I read an article you'd written about how you really gave yourself a, an assignment, and that's how you kept busy, kept active, and kept sharp. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about that? So it was called the 4 by 4 by 5 project. Mm -hmm. I actually had my partner, Mary Lee, every day jokingly say, Kenneth, go out and get me four. And I would go Gave out you four pictures, four pictures, okay. and I'd go out with a four by five camera with wow. two film holders, wow. and each film holder holds two f pieces of film, two sheets of film, and I couldn't come back until I found something to photograph. That's quite a commitment walking around with the four by. Was it on a tripod or was it like a speed graphic or? I was driving. It was a, on my car seat. It was a Wista DX. It was sitting on my on my car seat and. Yeah. It was one of those things where I would go out and I would look for, yeah. what can I photograph? Yeah. And, and the first day I'm photographing a barn and a, a railroad crossing and later I go, I want to photograph more people. Yeah. So then I start finding people. When people say to me, you must love living in Colorado. There's such a beautiful place. I go, there are, there's so many beautiful people. Because mm. they think I'm going to go out and shoot mountains, but I'm not really interested in mountains. I'm mm -hmm. more interested in people stories. You could say, well, I'm going to go on a photo shoot today. I'm going to go X, Y, Z. It's like, well, there's no telling where you can get something. You can go to a place full of all the things that you think are going to be conducive to great street photography and then walk down a back alley when you're taking out the trash, and that's where something happens. It's like, really, you just have to, I think, engage in life and just be watching. Be aware. So engage in life, keep an eye out, and have a camera. At ready your side. <laughs> and turned on and uh, ready to go. <laughs> ready already pre-focused. Often, like sure. you know, typically we yeah. pre-focus our cameras. We'll sure. have the exposure set. If anything's in front of me, I can point in and shoot. This is a Leica M6 that I use for film, and I want to shoot 35 millimeter. And at the same time, I'll often take out a Nikon D610, which is a yeah. full-frame digital yeah. camera that's yeah. been sitting on my car seat for years, and it completely is a workhorse. It just keeps working. I'll carry a, a little Fuji X100 because it's a silent camera, mm -hmm. and it's got a 35 F2 on it. So I use that a lot as a street camera mm -hmm. in cities. I'll carry 
roller flexes when I want to shoot film. I kind of like go with what I'm inspired by on a typical day. Yeah. And some of that maybe even goes into that inspiration. If I pull out a 4x5 camera or a roller flex, then that adds to the, okay, I can't wait to get started because I'm going to use this tool today. Hey, Craig, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. What's up? Well, I got a question for you. Okay, so as a photographer, right, as a photographer, what do you do when the muse isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I go play disc golf. Uh, you know, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, uh, I try not to force it. I mean, sometimes the muse leaves, who knows for what reason or when it's going to come back, and... I just, uh, I don't try to force it because I know eventually it's going to show up again and I'll, I'll be back taking pictures or doing whatever. Huh. Well, that's a simple answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I've never found that there's a, you know, when I was younger, I mean, it was, the muse was there all the time. Yeah. And as I've gotten older, I, you know, the muse takes a little vacation once in a while. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right. Anytime. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'd like to thank Stephen, Kenneth, and Craig. They helped me get out of a rut, and I hope they help you get out of a rut should you find yourself lacking inspiration. Until the next episode of Behind the Lens, so long.